morning everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm sharing my quarantine morning routine because i wanted to just basically bring you guys in on what i've been up to lately during this odd time in life and before ramadan hits especially because i feel like once that happens it's going to be a whole nother ball game uh, with the ramadan daily and everything else i'm also working with sephora and ysl beauty in this video which I'm so excited about like anytime I get the opportunity to work with Sephora I get so excited because literally you guys know I talk about them all the time You guys obviously just saw me go through my morning routine already just kind of like the beginning portion me waking up For everyone wondering, um, Hamad goes to work still, he works in the healthcare field So I kind of wake up around like 9, he leaves for work at like 8 So I usually get out of bed around like 8 30 9 and that's basically what happened today so i don't always wear makeup i'm not gonna lie um i don't always wear makeup but i try to at least once a week just to get like majority of my work done and everything so today is one of those days Ooh, guys the sephora spring savings event i'm so excited so you can save up to 10 to 20 percent depending on your tier not to brag but I am VIB Rouge, so yo girl gets 20% off, and I'm very happy about that. So the Sephora VIB sale is actually happening right now. So if you are a beauty insider, um, you get 10% off, but you can shop from April 23rd to April 27th. If you are VIB, you get 15% off. You can shop from April 21st, so a little bit earlier than insiders, to April 29th. And then if you're Rouge, like me, you can shop from April 17th to actually May 1st. So you actually get a long time to shop, which is very exciting. And they're only having two uh, sales this year. So it's gonna be this spring event and then one in holiday. I don't know about y'all. I've been spending a lot more money lately. <laughs> But you know what? It brings me joy. And if it brings me joy, then I mean, what can we say about it? So I wanted to share some YSL goodies that I got. Um, this is specifically their Rouge Velouté Shine Oil in Stick. So it's like a lipstick. I've shared these on my channel before. They are so pretty. I feel like these would be such a perfect gift for like Mother's Day or something as well. But I got this shade 9. This is the first time that I'm actually seeing all the shades. Yes. I was so worried picking this online that it would be too light, but this is like the perfect light pink nude shade. I also always put these up in display in my room. Like you guys can't see it right now, but on my perfume counter, I have like all of these basically lined up because they're just so pretty. And my mom stole a couple before I moved here <laughs> because she likes them too. Um, so this is the other shade that I got. What is this one? This one is 89. But yeah, I'll show you guys swatches of all of these on my lips later, but this is like such a pretty mauve color. I tried to pick up shades that I knew that I would actually wear on a daily basis, like a nude, a mauve, and then I also wanted to experiment with rose because I've been loving rose lately. So this is kind of like a true deep rose for deeper skin tones at least. Whoops. This is in the number 86. And then this one I actually just kind of got for fun because I saw that they have a collector's edition out right now. So I just figured that I'd get it because I thought this would be really cute. It has stars all over them. This is in the shade, oh, they do have names on them. This is the shade 102, Ready to Seduce. 89 is called Rose Blazer. Nine is Nude Sheer. And 86 is Mauve Cool. Cool. I don't know how to pronounce that, C-U-I-R. I am just gonna prime real quick. Um, this is the YSL Touche Clap Fleur Primer. It has like cute little gold flecks all over them. And even though this is a blur primer, I find that it actually like hydrates as well. Like it's not one of those blur primers that dry out your skin. Anytime that I do my makeup, I always watch a YouTube video because I just get really bored if I don't. So I'm gonna just put on a quick YouTube video. Yeah, you know okay. I can see it. So makeup is all done. Let me bring you guys closer. I did something just very natural. If you guys wanna see a full look on this, I'll do like a separate video, but now it is makeup time. So basically the Rouge Velupte Shine lipsticks are an oil and stick. So they're like 60% oil, which is perfect. So they're actually very, very moisturizing to wear. Oh my God, I forgot how good these smell. Oh my God, this is making me want like mango gummy. My mouth is literally watering. So that is the first shade, Nude Sheer. I feel like this one I'd probably wear with a brown lip liner and then it would just give like that perfect pinky nude shade. I feel like without a brown lip liner, it's a little bit too light for me. 
These lipsticks also have hyaluronic acid in them, which really just helps to bring moisture into your lips and just like keep the moisture there. So, you know, the more you apply this, the more it's just going to improve the hydration of your lips, which is amazing. So next color I'm going to put on is 86. This is like totally my vibe. This is like my everyday vibe color. That is so pretty. I really, really like that color. By the way, I just picked out three shades in the Rouge Volupte de Shine. Um, I think they have, whoops, they have over 30 shades. So you can like really pick any vibe you're into, which is great. But I think this is going to be the one that I end up wearing. Going slightly deeper, this is the Rose shade in the number 89. I literally love how this applies. It is so soft. Ooh, I might have to wear this one today instead. I think this one's the winner, y'all. Number 89. I am loving how this looks against my skin tone. I built this color up to like its maximum intensity. I'd say it has about a medium coverage. It's very, very intense, the color of it, but it's not like paint, essentially. Like I really, really like the coverage of this. It still covered like the discoloration on my lips, but it gave me a really, really beautiful rose hue. Oh my God, I just realized I forgot to put on mascara. I feel like if you guys are looking for like the perfect rose mauve shade for deeper skin tones, like if you're around my skin tone, maybe you're getting this for your mom or your sister or something, 100% you need to pick up 89. This is so pretty. I'm not one for glossy reds, but I think this is so stunning. It just transformed my entire look from looking very basic and extremely natural to like glam. It's a little too much for uh, for just at home though, <laughs> so I'm gonna dab it off. All right, going back to my trusty 89. Put on a little bit of mascara. Um, I'll have these linked down below if you guys are interested. So if you guys do want to pick this up, splurge, treat yourself, treat your mama on Mother's Day, or gift it to someone for like either Ramadan. I feel like it'd be really cute to like send someone something to show that you're missing them or whatever it is. I think these are like the perfect gifts that will like instantly put a smile on someone's face because first of all, they're literally a work of art. Like look at this. You cannot tell me you won't be feeling your bougie self pulling this out and applying this during the day like come on so just remember the code for the sephora spring saving sale is spring save i'll have the dates and all the information down below i'm gonna um clean my room because it's a disaster i'm looking at it right now and it's like an actual disaster but thank you so much to sephora for um working with your girl helping me keep the lights on during this quarantine um so yeah i'm gonna place you guys somewhere so that we can start cleaning, but let's just appreciate this beat, girl. Baby, I'm not mad at all. We both tried and tasted fall. Can't hold our love against the wall. No. Every inch of me is hurting and I. I just want to leave it all behind. Yeah, I'm breaking up with you tonight. Yeah, you know. happier than seeing my living room and dining room so clean like it truly just brings me so much joy like I understand why my mother was always so angry at me for leaving the house a mess because this is truly joyful and if it wasn't clean you know I wouldn't be as happy but anyways, I have the kitchen to work on. I am going to be making breakfast now. Um, I usually just have a smoothie, but honestly, I don't really do intermittent fasting. I kind of do it loosely, but I kind of don't start eating until I actually feel hungry. So in the morning, I'll just kind of like sip on water. And then around like 11, 30, 12 is when I actually make my first meal. And I usually always have a smoothie. So I'll show you guys that recipe first. But before that, I do have to clean the kitchen and put away some of the dishes and stuff. I've actually been making my smoothies a little different lately. Um, um, I got these little smoothie ready to blend things from Revive Superfoods. It's like a subscription based thing. <laughs> I don't know, they have like different things. So this is their liquid gold. It kind of tastes like nothing. Like I blended it up with like my regular coconut milk or whatever and it just didn't taste like anything. <laughs> Like, I couldn't taste the mango, I couldn't taste anything, so I don't know what it is, but uh, when I make it my way and I put all my, like, goods in there, like my greens and protein and, like, whatever, it tastes bomb. So this is how I do it. I usually like to use coconut milk, um, but for whatever reason, the Ralphs near me didn't have coconut milk, so I just have some unsweetened oat milk. And then I always use baby kale and spinach. Ooh, is this bad? 
Oh, gross. Okay, so it looks like Aisha needs to go to the grocery store because this is disgusting. It's like, you know when like it gets slimy? And it just does not smell right. Ooh. Normally I would put kale and spinach because um, that's how I've been making it regularly. But I do have some baby spinach, thank God. I hate when I run out of spinach for my smoothies because like it's honestly one of my favorite things to add to smoothies. I don't know why. And then I just basically cover that with your milk of choice. I always like to use plant-based milks. I'd say about a cup. I usually add more if I need to. And then I take the superfood blend or the uh, revived superfood blend. This has carrots, mango, papaya, pineapple, ginger, turmeric, coconut oil, pea protein, and chia seeds. So it has a lot of stuff in it. I always slice up some old bananas. Like I specifically buy the old bananas at the store so that I could slice them up and freeze them because they taste so good in smoothies. They make everything so sweet. Like you don't have to add sugar or honey or anything. And then I add this guy, which is from Teemee. Um, it's their green superfood blend. So it has matcha, spirulina, and wheatgrass. I'm not really a coffee drinker, which is why you guys didn't see me like make any coffee this morning. Um, I was really into the TikTok coffee trend. But I realized I was just doing it because it was fun. I, like, I, I don't really enjoy coffee. It makes my stomach upset, to be honest. So I prefer matcha. This gives me like all the energy, sustained energy that I, that I need. And then it has like a bunch of other stuff that's good for you. And then this is the protein powder that I use. Even though it's chocolate, like it doesn't really make the smoothie taste chocolatey. It just like adds more protein. This is like 15 grams of protein per scoop and I usually only eat like two times a day um, that's usually like all I need to sustain myself um, and this keeps me full for a long time which is another reason why I like it I think that's it I'm just covering up with water and now we blend thing on TikTok yesterday and they said like if you're ever cooking or you're waiting for something to finish like a smoothie or a hard-boiled egg or whatever it is to just work in some push-ups squats little things around the kitchen so I've been trying to do that lately <laughs> honestly I have not been very active lately like I've been trying to go on my walks a couple times a week but other than that I just cannot find the motivation to like actually work out and be healthy I usually honestly just sit on the couch but I actually have some work to do so I'm gonna go back to the office get some work done today is so beautiful outside it is like super warm and sunny and there's like actually a warm breeze normally I open the window and there's like not that much of a warm breeze it's like pretty cool and refreshing but it's actually getting quite hot um, but before I potentially change out of this outfit because it's getting quite warm I wanted to share it with you guys the whole outfit is basically from Express I have the jumpsuit honestly I wish I got this jumpsuit in the coral color because it's so cute um it's short sleeve so I usually well actually I guess I don't have to change I could just take this off later when I'm not filming cardigan is also from Express just a very comfy casual outfit little slippers as well and yeah so you guys have been asking me to share a little bit more of like the behind the scenes of doing sponsored content, um, working with brands, just kind of what I do on a day to day because I feel like a lot of people are just curious on what I actually do. Basically, I have to do some stories as well as take an Instagram photo for the YSL lipsticks that I was working on uh, with Sephora this morning. So I have them laid out over here and I'm gonna figure out a creative way to do an Instagram stories with these. In terms of photos, I always like to take my photos around like three, in between like three to 5 p.m. because that's when the lighting in here is the best. So um, I actually have to wait and do that later. You guys won't actually see that. You check out my Instagram to see the final photo that I choose to take. I'll probably change and like make it look all cute and stuff, but yeah, I need to take these stories. So I'm gonna look through the brief and just kind of see what the brand wants a little bit and then yeah, do that. So in case you always wondered what goes into sponsored content, this is it. <laughs> so the lighting is a little bit harsh right now because it's earlier on in the day, but I'm gonna try to make it work because I need to finish these now. So. Got my lipsticks, luckily. 
these literally shine so beautifully in the sunlight so it ain't gonna be hard trying to make these look cute so let's get started so let go of the things you hear i'm not going anywhere without you to put a little faith in me though you're scared no i made it hard for you but i Alright guys, I think I reapplied this lipstick like 20 times trying to get that Instagram story right, but <laughs> no complaints because it is, it is actually very, very moisturizing. Like my lips have not felt this hydrated in so long, but... I finished my smoothie, which basically means it is the end of the morning for me. Yeah, the story actually turned out really good. So in case you haven't checked out my Instagram story yet, by the time this video is uploaded, I want to just give you guys a sneak preview. Um, I downloaded this app called Sparkle Cam, and it gives you like that like sparkly effect. So I'll show you one of the stories that I made. So this is the story, but I basically just wanted to show the application. Um, so that everyone on Instagram can actually see how it's applied as well in real time. I think it turned out so good. So yeah, um, that is basically the big part of the work that I had to do today. Like, I mean, I still have a couple more things to do, but that's kind of the main thing that I wanted to complete this morning. And that is why I wake up early every morning because I want to get my work done before Ahmed has to come home so that we can actually enjoy the evening together. Oh my god, it's getting so bright. <laughs> but thank you so much to Sephora and YSL Beauty for partnering with me in this video. I think that anyone who loves to play around with makeup but still wants the comfortability of makeup and, you know, doesn't mind spending a little coin or two on some luxury goods or want to give someone some luxury goods, I think this is like a really good product to pick up. So I will have it linked down below and of course be sure to save using the code SPRINGSAVE for the Sephora Spring Savings event. Let me know if you guys want me to do also a recommendations video on like what else to pick up because I usually do that but if you guys don't want it then I won't do it. But yeah that is basically it for this quarantine morning routine. I'm gonna continue doing the rest of my work for the rest of the day and yeah I guess I could do like a full day version of this like day in my life during quarantine type video there will be plenty of that during the Ramadan daily so get excited but yeah I think that's it for this video I love you guys and I will talk to you oh my god we're so lopsided <laughs> I will talk to you in my next video bye everyone Mwah.